Hi everyone. Waiting. Okay. Put the thick of it. Hi everyone, hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone is doing well. So I know this is just popping up. I'm just popping up here out of nowhere it seems. I haven't done a live with you guys for quite some time. I had have a little bit of free time here to do a live and wanted to share some things with you. So first and foremost, hello to everyone. Hi everyone, I hope everyone is doing awesome. And um, I hope everyone can hear me clearly because Facebook is sometimey with me and sound. So I hope everyone can hear me clearly. If you'd like to donate to this, to me doing lives, many other people have, you can do so at Cash App, Cash Symbol, Hector Salva, or via PayPal, help at mysticalwork.com. So today, what I want to say is you can force yourself into a lot of problems. Hi. Hi, Sancita Ori. Um, you can force your way into a lot of issues and problems. And a lot of people do this willingly or unwillingly, with or without realizing it. And <clears throat> I want to give you just a little story or a little situation to give you an example of how this happens. And many people can say, like, they have experienced times where they forced something that wasn't really for them. They got what they wanted, but it came at a heavy cost. Not everything is for everybody. That's one of the things that people have to understand is not everything is for everyone. And just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do something, right? So everything isn't for everyone. And just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do something. A lot of people can say like they've have experienced where either they forced a relationship or they were forced into a relationship that turned around and kind of exploded in their face because just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. And I was talking earlier with uh, someone and we were talking about a situation that happens really commonly. Some years ago, I had a woman who came in and we're gonna call her Misty. So Misty came in and Misty wanted to become a Mambo. Misty wanted to be initiated as a Mambo. And upon doing her consultation, I was like, sorry, boo, we can't initiate you as a Mambo because you're not meant to be a Mambo. Hey, darling. Um, we can't initiate you as a mambo because you're not meant to be a mambo. But what we can do is we can begin you to train and develop on the spiritual path and see where it is that you belong when you get to that point. This was unacceptable for her. And she was like, now, blah, blah. And so then I didn't see her for quite some time. And what ended up happening with her was she ended up going somewhere and getting initiated as a mambo because a lot of people will sell initiations and initiate people for cash, okay? Getting initiated as a mambo and ended up in the nut house. A 
within the time of her taboo period, she ended up in the crazy house. And she ended up in the crazy house and started experiencing a whole bunch of mental and spiritual problems. She started to experience the spiritual world in a way that she was not ready for, nor did they actually prepare her for that situation or that experience. And this happens all the time. So eventually she got a hold of me when she got out of the crazy house and ended up communicating with me. And we had to do so much work in order to get her set right again. And in order to get her life set right again, when, you know, you're away from your life for a good period of time, things will fall apart. And that's exactly what happened with her. Things basically fell apart and stopped working. And every area of her life was crushed, in essence. And all of this because her ego wanted her to be a mambo. Not everything is for everyone, right? In fact, I'm going to spill some tea and some people is not going to like what I have to say here. Hi. Um, not a lot of people is going to like what I have to say here, but it is what it is. There's a lot of people out here currently who are running around calling themselves brujos and brujas, hungans and mambos and papa bocos, and all kinds of things. And they may have really received some type of initiation ceremony. They often get severely upset when none of that is recognized here at my house or here by my people. Why? Because it's the equivalent in most cases of someone giving someone a license to practice medicine, right? With none of the training none of the knowledge, none of the foundation that that person would need to practice medicine. And so there's unfortunately a lot of people out here who run in, go get an initiation, receive a ceremony, right? But don't know anything. And many times these same people will turn around and start providing services for others and helping others, AKA destroying others. This cannot be bought. A lot of people that belong in this work don't necessarily, we aren't necessarily running to go get initiated, okay? The spirits cannot be bought. You might be able to buy ceremonies, titles, initiations, but the spirits and the power cannot be bought. You can buy evil spirits, evil entities will work with many people, but you're not going to get the life or the result of someone who has the good spirits, who is meant to be involved in the work. There's many people out here with having just received ceremony, having recently received ceremony, even during the time of their own, what we call taboo period. So for those of you who are unaware, okay, after ceremonies in all of our ATRs, African traditional religions, there's a period of time where you're on what we call taboos. So this is during their own taboo period, and they're already lining people up to initiate them. Some of the silliest things I've heard in the, in the time, I've been involved in this since 1989. So some of the silliest things that I've heard from people is like, I'm waiting for my person to get initiated so that they can initiate me. Basically, I'm waiting for someone to become a baby because that's what it is. It's a rebirth, initiation is a beginning. I'm waiting for someone to become a baby so that they can turn around and make me their child. And this is the same thing like babies raising babies, right? And this is the unfortunate reason why many of our traditions have a severe breakdown 
there's a breakdown in these communities and what's become commonplace is bullshit. What's become commonplace is people who purchase initiations with no training, no foundation, and no, no connaissance, no wisdom to back it up. There are steps that one must undergo pre-initiation. There are steps that one must take. And if one is not willing to take those steps, then one is not meant for the work, right? It's the same thing with the whole driver's license or doctor's license. If one is not willing to go to medical school, one does not deserve a license. Unfortunately, these days, people believe that they can buy these things. There are people out here who have no initiation, who have more of the spirits, more strength, more power, and a firmer foundation than some people running around here claiming to be initiates. Unfortunately, because culture, our culture is different, and many people come from this Western culture, they don't understand this, and they don't get that this is how this works, right? When you approach a priest or a priestess, it's not for you to say where, and you approach a hungan, a mambo, this includes santero, santera, it's not for you to say what you're meant to be initiated as, okay? It's like a blind person telling a person who can see where they should walk. It's like a baby telling the adult how they should cook. A lot of people come in with a lot of ego. The initiation may connect you with the power. It does not give you the wisdom to use it. We've had a lot of people who after being told no here, they run off somewhere else to get initiated. That's all well and good. And it then later reflects in their life. They make a hot mess of their life. And oftentimes later, they want to come back here to have us clean it up or have us teach them because their teacher will not teach them or their godparent will not teach them. That's something that you should have checked out before getting initiated, boo-boo. If someone tells you that you can't learn anything prior and everything has to come after, that's sus. That's really sus, okay? Some people go in with good intentions. They don't know any better and they're trusting these people. I'm telling you that that shit is sus. If you listen to this in time, then maybe you'll get saved. If you don't, and maybe you hear this later, maybe you'll wake up. There's a lot of people out here that are severely confused. Severely confused spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically. Okay, they think that this is like the world, right? Where your title means everything. And there's a lot of people out here collecting titles with no knowledge on how to back that up or how to do that. I've been to many a ceremony filled with Western Hungans and Mambos who cannot even sing the pre who cannot even begin the ceremony, who cannot even sing the basic first five or six songs in order to begin the ceremony. Then, oftentimes, it's not uncommon, these individuals feel some type of way when people from the culture do not respect them. They feel like they should be respected because they're a Hungan or Mambo. 
But those of us who are from the culture take our time in order to go about these things in the proper way. And we can't respect, we don't have respect for people who try to buy their way through things. You can force a lot of things that are not meant for you. We have, we've seen it magically. We've seen it spiritually. We had a situation where this was long time, long, long, long time back, right? Where we had a woman and her name, we're going to call her Gertrude. Gertrude came in because she wanted this guy and she wanted this guy and she wanted this guy. And the spirits were like, really, he's not for you. He's not for you. You should let it go. He's not for you. But you want what you want and you know it all. Okay. And we're not going to fight you. So the spirit's like, we can give them to you. But by giving him to you, you're going to block your blessings. By trying to force this situation, you're going to block yourself in the long run. Okay? And you're going to mess yourself up. You're going to wish you hadn't done this. But if you insist, we can do it. She insisted. Not everything that you want is necessarily the best thing for you. Humans have this condition where basically we call it, you know it all. Right? And you come to the spirits with a know it all attitude. And we've seen this. And when you know it all and the shit hits the fan, it'll be your shit to clean up. We are not going to do it. The spirit isn't going to clean it up. So she insisted. Gertrude was like, no, that's the man for me. He's my ultimate love. Dum, 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 dum. So she insisted. So the spirit was like, cool, we'll give him to you. What ended up happening is she ended up being with the guy. And a few years later, they fell apart because we had to keep on doing magical work after magical work after magical work in order for her to keep the guy. And eventually she was like, you know, I'm tired of having to do so much magical work to get this guy. Right. So she stopped and we told her, like, if you stop the magical work, he's going to go. He's going to roll out. He did. At which point she discovered the love of her life. The love of her life had been waiting for her throughout all this time for her to give up on this guy. But about six months before she gave up, he decided he had to move on. He did move on. He got married. He made a whole new life for himself. When she got over the dude that she was obsessed with, and she ended up finding all this stuff out, it was too late. So you can force things that aren't good for you. Just because you want something doesn't mean it's necessarily the best thing for you. And we've seen it frequently, right? And this happens because there's a natural tendency of know-it-allism. Sometimes some things just are not for you. Right. And when you force things and many times in those situations that are forced, we get multiple red flags and signs to give it up. But when you insist and you force things because you have your own will, you have your own power, you can exert it. And you get what you want. You end up not getting what you really want. So. All I want to say here is be a little open-minded, right? Be open-minded to the fact that 
maybe what you want or what you think you know is not everything. And that we have a saying, what you don't know is greater than you are. What you don't know is greater than you are. There's more that you don't know than there is that you do know. And people with weak egos have a hard time hearing this. Okay? Have a hard time hearing that maybe you don't know everything. In fact, the wise one knows he doesn't know. That's the only thing he may know. Is that he doesn't know. So, in the words of my grandmother, right, el, or my grandfather actually, el que sabe, sabe, el que no, que aprenda. He who knows, knows. He who doesn't should take a, take a seat and learn. And in the words of my grandmother, el que de verdad sabe, sabe que no sabe. He who really knows, knows he doesn't know. Because the path of your life, your vision, your ability to see into the future, into everything, is limited in the scope of the whole process of life. So learn to be open. And in many ways, you'll find more blessings that way. So that's all I had to give you guys for today. I'm planning on doing another live relatively soon, and I'm going to be doing a live in Spanish because I told my people that I'd be doing a live in Spanish. So I'm going to be doing that one as well. Many blessings to all of you guys and keep the faith.